Houston, even with the second-best record in the NBA, the Houston Rockets have a weakness that is glaring yet under their control, defensive intensity. The Rockets didn't show much of it Wednesday night when they coasted to victory in Dallas. But on Friday, their lack of it proved costly in their 115-113 road loss to the Pelicans. If the Rockets, 34-13, are to maintain pace with the league-leading Golden State Warriors in the chase for home court advantage throughout the playoffs, they will need to play with the same defensive vigor that underscored recent wins over the Warriors and Miami Heat. The Rockets will get an opportunity to re-establish that focus when they host the Phoenix Suns on Sunday at Toyota Center. Houston rallied from a 21-point deficit to pull even late in New Orleans on Friday, only to fall short and suffer just their second loss in nine games. The Rockets had won four in a row before facing the Pelicans, even overcoming their inconsistent defensive effort against the Mavericks two nights earlier. When the Pelicans exploded with a 37-point second quarter, the reason was clear. We kind of got a little relaxed, Rockets guard James Harden said. The Suns are mired in a stretch with six of seven games on the road. Phoenix, 17-32, has lost six of its last seven games. Given the circumstances and the fact that Phoenix is one game in the loss column clear of the Western Conference seller, frustrations are mounting. In the Suns' 107-85 loss to the New York Knicks on Friday night, guards Devin Booker was ejected after an altercation with Knicks center Eanes Cantor. Booker logged only 25 minutes, and his 12 points represented his lowest scoring total since November. Ten, when he had nine in a home loss to the Orlando Magic. Oh, any bright spot of late has been the play of rookie forward Josh Jackson, who paired 18 points with eight rebounds against the Knicks. Jackson, inactive for the previous matchup with the Rockets, has averaged 14.8 points and 3.7 rebounds in the six games since, posting two of his three 20 point games this season while shooting a respectable 46. Five percent from the floor. I think he's got more energy than anybody, Suns coach Jay Triano said. He's just able to attack, and he's starting to be where he's supposed to be defensively more times than not, and that's a positive. His ability to play in the open court gives us the ability to play in transition. Triano started a new lineup against the Knicks, pairing Booker and Troy Daniels in the backcourt for the first time with Marquise Chris, Greg Monroe and T. Jay Warren up front. Change this late in the season could be disconcerting, but Jackson aims to remain focused. The key is just being consistent, Jackson said. Dot roles are going to change throughout the year. We might have a different starting lineup next game, but our approach to the game has always got to be the same.
We've always got to come out with energy and we've always got to be ready to play.